Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com and today we're going to demonstrate how to punch down a 25 pair cable uh, to a 66 block and uh, this is a 25 pair cable. Uh, now this is just a, what you call a cable tail because we're just demonstrating how to do it. It's, we're not going to run a feed cable but a lot of times these feed cables are run between um, IDS and, uh, and uh, throughout the building normally used for voice cables. But it's uh, 50 wires, 25 pair. And uh, Patrick is here helping me. That's a 66 block. And he's going to divide out the different colors. Why don't you give us a color code there, Patrick? Okay, you have five primary colors, and those are the white, uh, red, black, yellow and violet so what I'm looking for right now are all of the whites then you have your secondary colors so you see I have all white here my secondary colors are blue orange green brown and slate so we're gonna start with white blue as my primary and then we just follow the secondary colors go throughout all the primary so we have white orange and we have white green and notice I'm just setting them into the 66 block to begin with before I punch those five uh, pairs down so I set the first and everybody does it their own way but I, I always set the first five in and I just work with the second five groupings so here we go so now I have the first five in. And that's under the white and primary color. And then the secondary colors repeat themselves. So the, the next one would be red, and be red, blue. All five of the white primary colors down on the 66 block using my 66 bit tool. And we will punch. Notice that. I'm just barely pulling away as I punch down a pair. I pull away a little bit and I end up with all five pairs punched down. So now my secondary color, my I mean my second color is red. So I'm looking for all my reds. I have red blue, red orange, red green, red brown, red slate. So I'm looking for those pairs right now. Okay, now I have all my red. Uh, now I'm going to look for my red, blue, and red will go first. It is the primary color. Red, blue, set that in, and then red, orange, and you'll have to look for the primary. So you can see the red is this predominantly red. So and then it's red, and then red, orange, red, and then red, green. If they come on twisted from one another you can find the colors pretty easily and then red brown you know what else too people can find the uh, you can actually find the color code right on our website or anywhere on the internet of a 25 pair I've got all it's just a technique on how to pairs. get them down also Okay, now while you're looking for the next primary color, I'm going to show the, the, the punch down tool that you can buy at CableSupply.com. And this is what it looks like. Uh, this is one we've used for years and it has, if you notice, this is a 66 punch down uh, blade and in one side it has a cutting edge. So as he's pushing the wire into the, 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 uh, the binding post, uh, he's also cutting the excess off, as, as you notice. Also, I know uh, that he also has a 110 blade in there, and the blades are interchangeable. So when we're doing 66, you put a 66 block uh, blade in there. When you're doing 110, you put a 110 in there. You ready for the next primary color? I'm ready for the next primary color. Now Which is black. So I have black blue, black orange, black green, Black brown, black 
slate. And so notice while he's cutting, while he's doing that, he's using the, uh, uh, you know, it's wrapping over the top through the individual little uh, uh, binding posts. Uh, it's pulling it tight, and then when he's cutting it with the punch down tool, he's cutting the bottom part, not the top. So he's cutting the excess off once it goes through the binding post. And, uh, and that's, uh, you know, you cut it the other way, it's just going to fall out the wire. So, so your, once again, your we cutting have blade is going to go. The cutting to the blade is down. It's down. Yellow on my 66. Uh, on your punch down tool. On my punch down tool, so I'm just pushing it in mm -hmm. and I trim it off. Push it in and then I pull back a little bit on the cable as I. I cut it, I pull the excess back to me. And it, it's an impact tool, so it it will punch itself in as you push. Okay, my last primary color is violet, and I have set them in. Notice violet blue, violet orange, violet green, violet brown, and violet slate. So that's my last five pairs of a 25 pair cable and I'll go ahead and punch those down letting the blade ride under the cable and then put it on the pins push impact it cuts and notice over here on the right hand side nice clean 25 pairs, white blue, white orange, white green, white brown, white slate, we go to red, we go to black, we go to yellow, we go to violet, 25 pairs total, 50 pins. And these little indentations show where each grouping of wire changes so it's easy to follow with your eye. And that's how you do a 25 pair cable. 25 pair cable is pretty common in telephone systems these days. Um, You'll see it all the time. A nice clean cut down, like Patrick said, is going to be nice and smooth here when you when you really know how to cable it right. He, he's keeping his twists as, as close as he can, but at the same time, twists aren't as important with voice as they are with Ethernet uh, uh, cables. Uh, Jim, these, if this was a 50 pair cable, mm -hmm. I would take the next set of 25 and bring them and punch them down on this side of the 66 block. Mm -hmm. And so this is a split 66, so these second row of pins coordinate with this first pin, and then these this side coordinates. So I would punch my second pair, uh, my 25 pair, down right here, and we would have a 50 pair on one 66 block. you got to memorize the color code if you're going to do this. Uh, the first couple times it's really shaky, so you get a 66 block. This is what I did 20, 30 years ago. Took it home, mounted it on a board, practice punching down over and over and over again until you get good. It takes a little bit of skill, it takes a little bit of time, and you got to have the color code memorized. It's, once you memorize it, you got it for life. It's pretty easy to remember. And um, in other videos, we'll show you how to do cross connect from one 66 block to another. We'll also show you how to connect these split pins together using bridge clips. But for now, this is uh, Jim and Patrick with CableSupply.com. And uh, please help us uh, produce more of these educational videos by buying from us. We should have the lowest prices on the internet. And our website is www.cablesupply.com. www.cablesupply.com. Do you have any questions on uh, uh, the parts or the technology we're explaining? Don't hesitate to call us. Thank you for watching our video.